right here, front row on the left. Jaden, just kind of talk about um, your transition of your college career, you know, starting out playing at Arizona State, now at LSU, just kind of uh, the culture, the, the fan base, everything that LSU exemplifies and kind of what that transition's been like for you and what makes LSU so special to you now. Um, LSU is special to me. Um, like you said, the fan base and everything. Um, just the state of Louisiana, uh, they took me as one of their own. Um, I kind of feel like I'm from Louisiana now in a way. Uh, even though I'm from California, I'm from the West Coast. Um, like I said, they took me in, in as their own, uh, treated me, respected me. Um, and just the transition coming from the Arizona State to LSU, um, it's night and day. Just what the, the fans exemplify, um, the energy that they bring each and every week to our games and how much they care about us and care about LSU football uh, is second to none. Left side, second row. Jayden, like, like you said, you know, West Coast guy from, the, from Pac-12 country, what do you think on the field is the biggest difference in terms of the competition level, what you, what you see every week, and in your opinion, what are the biggest factors that go into to being a successful quarterback in the SEC? Um, the biggest thing I see the difference from Pac-12 to SEC um, is the, the big boys up front. Uh, you know, with the old line and how big they are. And then you got guys like, for example, Mason Smith as a, a humongous uh, human being that can move like that. Um, so, you know, you're playing against those guys each and every week. Um, and I'll say just to be a successful SEC quarterback, you got to go in there and just um, really prepare, prepare uh, like a pro. Um, and if not, you know, you, you might get exposed in this league because there's some great players out there playing against you. Right side, front row. Hey, Jaden. AP Stidham, AP and Kelly, as we see at Syndicated Radio. Jaden, what was the difference between your first game and then uh, the bowl game? It, you know, you progressed so much. How, how did that happen for you? And then moving forward, what are you trying to do this season a little bit differently? Um, from my first game to the bowl game, I'll just say just being comfortable um, within the system. Uh, first game, you use first of everything. First game with a new team, um, new coaches. So uh, you didn't really know what to expect or what to, to go. So fast forward to the bowl game, you could just see how much more comfortable everybody was with each other, um, how much comfortable the, the coaches were with the players and the players were with the, within each other, the team, and also with the coaches. Um, and moving forward uh, to this year, uh, what I hope to change is, you know, uh, week one start with a win. <laughs> Last you know, we started with a loss. So I, I want to start with a win this week, this year. Left side, second row. Kelly Jones, KCU 88.1 FM. Uh, Jaden, Coach Kelly identified in spring that downfield passing uh, was a big part of uh, maybe unlocking another level to Coach Tim Brock's offense. Do you think you've progressed a lot uh, in that way in the spring and the summer? And, and what do you think you can do that, that can take that offense to the next level in the fall? And I mean, that's, to answer your question, I feel like that's what we need to do to take the, the offense to the next level. Um, I feel like we could have a top offense in the country. Um, you know, going out there and we have the guys are, we have the talent out there. Um, guys are special to go out there and really make those plays. Um, and, you know, just this summer, we've just been working hard at it, working hard at our timing. Um, and even when we do our player led practices and stuff like that, you know, we're, we're giving the guys opportunities to go make plays. Um, so that's the biggest thing that I say that we could take that leap to uh, make the offense more explosive. Third row, left side. Kennedy Wright with CBS 42. Do you think your chances of a Heisman are greater this upcoming season? I mean, I, I don't really look at stuff like that. I mean, it's, it's blessed. I'm, I'm honored to be a part of a prestigious award like that. Uh, hopefully when I win football games, hopefully my eyes go up. Um, but my main thing is really just focused on helping the team win football games. And if uh, individual success comes, comes with it, then it comes with it. Right side. Jimmy Hamm, Sports Animal in Knoxville. Jaden, at what point, a couple of questions, at what point did mm -hmm. you feel comfortable running Tennessee, running LSU's offense? <laughs> against Tennessee, uh, even though we lost, but against Tennessee, I felt comfortable running the offense after that. Uh, we kind of just took off as an offense um, of what we, what we were capable of doing, what we knew what we could do. Um, that's gaining explosive plays, um, going out there and really just taking shots and giving those guys uh, chances to make plays. So I would say the Tennessee game happened in that Tennessee game and then how did you guys turn it around? Um, I mean we we started off wrong in the Tennessee game obviously you know open the kick fumble um, and with a high uh, 
high power offense like that with a great team on their high horse. They got they got on us early and we just didn't score enough to keep up with them. Um, but after that, I mean, it just gave us insight and uh, light to the situation that we, we knew how if we control how we wanted to finish our season, um, limit the mistakes and go out there and make plays. You know, we, we put ourselves in the situation to be in the SEC championship game. Second row. Dan Peck, ESPN 106.7 in Auburn. What are the hardest things about being a newly arrived quarterback from the transfer portal? And what are you working on this offseason, and, and what do you want to get better at? Um, I mean, one of the hardest things of uh, transferring to the SEC and being a new quarterback is you don't know what to expect um, when you travel to road games, um, going to Auburn, going to Florida, very hostile environments, and you don't really know what to expect. Um, with the fan base and with the team and how those teams feed off the energy of their fans. You know, they're very talented. Um, and if you get down early, you know, you might be in trouble. Front row here. Yeah, Brooks Austin, Dogs Daily. Jaden, you were on the other end of a pretty viral moment in the SEC <laughs> Championship game when Jalen Carter picked you up. I'm, I'm curious what your viewpoint of that play was. Um, I mean, Jalen Carter is a great player. Uh, I mean, he, he got underneath me. I, I already had a bum ankle. So really, really much I could do. He, he just lifted me up, and then uh, he just kept me in one hand. And it, at that point, it was just really nothing I could do with it. Uh, I was just worried about, you know, my ankle at that point because it was, it was hurting a lot. But, you know, he, he's a great player, and he, did, he made a, a big-time play. Left side, fourth row. Corey Curtis from ABC uh, TV here in Nashville. Um, Commissioner Sankey expressed some real concern today about the way players and officials in particular are treated as a result of gambling losses with the new gambling laws. Uh, as a player on that end, how ugly can it be? I um, mean, it could be ugly. Obviously, um, we're told that you can't gamble. Um, obviously, I don't think you should, as a player, you, should, you shouldn't want to gamble. Uh, going in there about the NCAA, I personally don't gamble and nobody in the LSU football team gambles um, on their team. You know, we, we respect each other and respect the team. Um, and we don't want to go out there and give any insight uh, to what could happen just to make a quick buck. You know, we, we love each other as a, as a team. And, you know, we want to see each other succeed at the end of the day. Fourth row, left side. Hey, when Josh was in here, he kind of half joked about the pressure to continue the national championship run there on campus. What do you think about that? Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a blessing, obviously, what those two other teams did with the women's basketball and, and baseball. Um, you know, it's second to none. They can go out there and they both won championships. Uh, hopefully we could follow up with one, but you know, other than that, we got to take it day by day and really just enjoy the process, enjoy the season with each other. Final two questions right here, then pass it behind you, John. Uh, Jacques Doucet, WAP TV in Baton Rouge. Uh, Jaden, uh, it appears that uh, John Emery is going to be cleared, um, be back with you guys in, in the, the fall there. What, what things does he do that other guys can't do? What kind of makes him special? as a playmaker? Uh, I wouldn't say necessarily what other guys can't do. John is just a special player. Obviously, he was highly recruited out of high school um, for a reason. You know, he's, he's, he's a very uh, special player as far as um, when the ball is in his hand, he can make something happen out of nothing. Um, but, you know, we, we need John, and hopefully, you know, if John comes back, you know, he, he's in the right head space with everything and, and, you know, go out there and he, he's focused on football and he goes out there and have fun which I know John will. I know the type of person John is. Um, I can't wait to see John get back there and get back out there on the field and really just enjoy his last year um, and make a plays with the phenomenal person he is. Final question, back row. Jaden Jeff Spiegel from ABC 3340 in Birmingham. You and Coach Kelly came in at the same time. How much did it mean to you two to get that win over Alabama? What did that mean to the program? And how much fun has it been watching him have so much fun talking about it? Um, it's been it's been a lot. Obviously, um, he lost to Alabama in the national championship game, so uh, you know it meant a lot to him to get that win. It meant a lot to the state of Louisiana to, to get that win against Alabama at home uh, for the first time in a while. Um, it's just been fun seeing Coach Kelly enjoy his time at LSU um, because I mean, if your head coach is not enjoying it, then the players are going to look at it and, and not enjoy it also. So he's enjoying his time here. He's enjoying coaching us, and we're enjoying, we enjoy being around him. Thanks, Jaden. Thank you all.